97.9 KISW What's going on with BJ in the other room? It's 6 o'clock in the morning. Apparently he's talking with uh, Brother Weeze. Oh. It's kind of funny we come over here. Oh, I don't really want to distract him. Right. Because we totally distracted. We just stood in the mirror or in the window right there. And just looked at him. Or yeah, but did he like... looks very animated with whatever yeah. he's doing over there. Well, here's the thing. Hey, Back brother. In the day, Toppy's trying to figure out how to pull it up on the board. Well, I, I oh. can't work with Weez anymore, BJ. You there we go. You've got to come in there and tell the management what a horrible situation is. So I felt bad because she's the one that got me the job. So I go in and I go, you know, maybe things can be better around here. And she says, well, maybe, BJ, you're the problem. And I'm looking at her going, are you oh, the problem? Oh, dirt. The problem? And then you're like, wow. Oh, Old school dirt, you. apparently. Yeah. I remember these stories. I love you, too. It's just she's out of her mind. She said she hated you, and I just figured I'd help her out. And you started laughing and go, brah. You gotta start learning One about women before you get your ass kicked. <laughs> <laughs> and we had fun ever bra, since. You're absolutely right. Like after that moment, is he gonna let them right, speak? We'll you no, of <laughs> course not. It's their show. Bro, we had fun like crazy. You're right. All right. I'm still a Hare Krishna kind of you. Look at look at look at you. How many Hare Krishna? <laughs> wow, really? Well, really? Weez is a Hare Krishna. I didn't know that. So, bro, I don't know how much time you have. We go real quick. I got a phone call from my uh, your old neighbor actually, Plowman. Oh, good oh, lord. Yeah. Plowman. 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 Mr. Plow. The other night, Thirty seconds. I just saw PJ on America's Got Talent. America's Got Talent guy. Oh, yeah, he saw you. Yes, and you know what? I don't know how that was possible. I was on for like a millisecond. But he saw you. It's so unbelievable. And he calls me up, and I go, doesn't make any sense. Ten seconds, I cop. Uh, call geez. me. America's okay. Got Talent. And then... I'll uh, right back. Hopefully we'll get more. Now, they're going to tailor it to what they want right. to do. I and they, and they came in, they said, Beach, would you say there are lines all over the place and say people are going crazy? And I'm looking at them. I wasn't even on air. I'm like, okay, you know, again, I'm a, I'm, I'm a media whore. Sure, what are you sure. going to do? Uh, and literally, they didn't even show me in full screen. It was a dissolve. You didn't even see me. <laughs> it was, I mean, you heard my voice. I love it. They're talking about America's Got Talent. Yeah. About half a second. Uh, well, they said they saw you, bro. Well, I was there. You could see me, but, bro, you'd laugh. We have the video up on. Bro, uh, bro, I bro. Up on our on our website or our Facebook page. Uh, the I, what's your website, BJ uh, Shea? Uh, it's, well, it's KISW.com or on Facebook, it's The Real BJ Shea. And you can scroll down and there there'll be a, a video there. Way to promote us, BJ. Yeah. Dude, I, I'm not even, like, you know how you see, like, in those science fiction movies when somebody disappears really slowly and they get eaten away like the Invisible Man? There was you? you? Yeah, I wasn't even fully solid. That's, I mean, that's how much little time I had. It was nuts. But were you, you were at the studio where they did the, the thing? No, they were at our studio. They came oh, my the God. Yeah, oh yeah. I thought you were at the yeah. club. Listen. <laughs> Weez is finding out the truth, and it's not the story you thought it was. It's not nearly as cool. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Oh, it's true. I, I, that is the biggest coup. That's why I love radio, bro. We're still kicking ass our industry. And well, we're, you know, it's funny because we have our own clique, and it makes me feel extra proud that, you know, you're one night you're on America's Got Talent, the next day Opie's in news all over the country, and I listen to the whole piece. And I talked to Opie the night before, because they just had a pair of... Oh, they're talking about the penis gate. Yeah. Oh, it's and, and he did more crap going on. Uh, and I haven't talked that much about it this morning, but if I was you a little later on, you want to call Opie and put him on. Yeah, I'll tell you what, man, that's not a bad idea. Now he's producing and, uh, the show, Steve. Yeah, how about that? Yeah. You know, and, uh, he He's the producer. Really yeah. Why didn't I think of that? Well, because only because I I can't call him unless I'm going to be on with him. But you can call him later on your show, and they're off the air. And they'll talk to you for sure. Yeah, that's a great idea, and uh, <laughs> you're absolutely right, bro. That that bro. To expose bro. As, you, as it were that ah. picture. Uh, and, and it really it could be a drinking game. Talk about game. <laughs> How many times they say bro, you have to do a shot. <laughs> yeah, we be hammered already. Yeah, especially BJ. Two fifty to his cup. Go on and show a picture to a radio show. Who, like of there. course, would be, and, <laughs> Not only you show the picture, but you let them hold your phone. Oh, I mean, please. come. I mean, come on. You talk about it. This is show. awesome. That's why I get so mad. This is live in Rochester. It's not about Republicans or Democrats. It's just We're about coast to coast. Like That's right. The guy is a or lake to lake. No doubt about it. <laughs> Listen, uh, Andrew Breitbart, I listened to the whole set. I heard the whole thing. He, uh, some liberal called up and said, how come you only do it to liberals? He goes, yeah, so I hate liberals. Yeah. And it's all I'm going to do. And then he went into this whole rant. Uh, I, I was in the car. We had to pick my daughter up, Diane, in Binghamton. And so B 
being a plower on the way back, I heard I almost had, my head almost exploded listening to this set that was so full of crap you can't believe it. From Andrew Breitbart, who by the way, one of his statements was he he hates bullies. Oh, he's really? The, he, he's the biggest bully yeah. on the planet. Yeah, nice. He hates bullies. Well, you know, Anthony Weiner is an idiot, and uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, even the and we you see today, even the Democrats are like, dude, of will course, you please, will you please leave. You're a moron. <laughs> that doesn't, doesn't make Andrew Bright Breitbart today. By the way, I don't know who you're using, but today they're offering him to all the morning shows as a guest, and I don't want to know this guy. And I mean. He, this guy self-promotes himself like a mule oh, yeah. on the misery of others yeah, and right. says he doesn't like bullies. He doesn't like bullies. I know, isn't that oh, funny? Oh, my God. Uh, that's not, that's not, <laughs> not this is awesome. Oh, my God. You know, if you can find someone telling the truth somewhere, good luck to you. Like, well, well they, they, at least on one of the shows I was watching the other day, they told about that every single politician lies about... I feel like I'm like eavesdropping on just a conversation they're having. Clinton, yeah. This was a liberal show. Bill Clinton lied to the, to the populace about taxes, got in, raised the taxes on the middle class, and made a good economy. Bro, you, you got to go libertarian, bro. You got to do that. Uh, bro. Right, let's, let's, sign me up. Let's, Ron sign Paul. Me up. let's get Ron Paul in there. I gotta I'm, go. going for, I'm going for you. Bro, you got to go? All right, I got to go, but bro, you know I love you. I love you too, bro. Aww. <laughs> oh, I love you, Toppy. I love you, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Oh, I love you. Oh, uh -huh. what's happening now? Oh, we were just listening. Oh, you were listening? How could you do that? Technology. Oh, wow. Brah. Oh. Brah. He's my boy. Wow. I know. It's fun. I, I told Tommy, I feel like I'm listening to two guys just BSing. You know what? Not for nothing. He Ten he does a, He's so nice because I was a miserable employee. But <laughs> he says we had so much Was? Fun. Yeah. Oh, thanks for that. You know All what? Right, that's gotta it. go. Oh, hey, everybody. The BJ Shea Morning Experience on 99.9 .9 KISW.